welcome back to Wants to Watch with Football Index, the stock market for buying and selling shares in players. I'm joined, as always, I say that like it was yesterday I saw you, but it feels yeah. like forever, by Sir Alan McAnally. There he is. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's good to see you again, my goodness. I suppose I'll give you the, I'll give you the elbow now. Good to see you. <laughs> How have you been, Al? Yeah, brilliant. It's, uh, well, we're on the, the verge of the whole thing beginning again, and it only seems as though we've just kind of finished it. But uh, it's been pretty good. Last Saturday, I was at Tranmere uh, against Harrogate. And incidentally, how good were they? They were fantastic. But yeah, on the verge of a new season, looking forward to it, and we're almost back together. Well, let's get cracking with our first one to watch. It is mm. Saeed Ben Rama, the 25 year old who joined Brentford for 2.7 mil in 2018. What are your thoughts on him, Al? Well, what a signing to spend that kind of money on a player that every time I've seen him, um, and we saw Brentford a lot because of the run they were on. I mean, they, they got almost to the finishing line and didn't, didn't quite make it. He's been absolutely terrific. Uh, very direct, uh, good team player, plenty of assists. Uh, and himself and a few of the other players at Brentford were just quite simply amazing and, and genuinely not surprised that he is kind of, I would think, on the verge of becoming a Premier Division football player because I think there'll be a few teams interested in him, Emma. There certainly are a few teams. He's been linked with West Ham, Aston Villa, Arsenal, Leeds and Spurs. And, uh, I mean, with 46 games played in the Championship season, the 19-20 season, 17 goals and nine assists, it's fair to say he would strengthen any of those sides, wouldn't he? No, I agree. I agree totally. And I suppose Dean Smith, of course, would, would love to have him at Aston Villa. Uh, how much are they going to ask for them? I would imagine a nice like villa in West Ham and Leeds. 25 mil is uh, reportedly valued that. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. I mean, I, I would, okay, Brentford will try and get as much as they can, but what an investment that's been, for goodness sake. Um, uh -huh. There are a few teams, there are a few players. I mean, you and I were talking about the boy Felipe Anderson. Who, yeah. Who, who, who's, I mean, how much did they pay for him? Yeah, when you compare him to Felipe Anderson at West Ham, they paid over 35 mil for him. So what, what are your thoughts when you look at that comparison there? Yeah. Well, you got, I mean, if, again, Felipe Anderson's had a tough season, to be absolutely honest with you. I mean, probably didn't get enough goals that David Moyes would have, would have liked. And probably hasn't influenced as many games as, as West Ham would have liked. I mean, he's a very good football player. But I think if you look at both of them together, if we just take an example... Ben Rama more goals, Ben Rama more assists, and certainly more direct and influences the game more. Now you have to take into consideration he was playing in the Championship, Ben Rama, but there's no need to think that he couldn't do that in the Premiership for West Ham, for instance. And I would still think, you know, though Felipe Anderson is still part of West Ham's plans, I can understand West Ham being interested inside Ben Rama as well as all the other teams for sure. But he's done nothing wrong, uh, and I would think he'd be high on the list for a lot of Premier League, uh, Premier League teams. And to be fair, Brentford will be gutted if they lost them, but it probably goes with their blessing because he's done such a good job for them. Absolutely. Well, that's our first one to watch. We've given you our opinion on it. Feel free to have your say and comment below. Uh, who's our second one to watch, Al? Uh, well, listen, we know we try and pick players that have been A in the limelight and B are going to like, get better. So I'll pick Leon Goretzka from Bayern. I mean, he's already won the Bundesliga, he's won the Pokal, he's now a Champions League winner. Um, and to be quite honest with you, Emma, apart from Lewandowski, David Alaba um, being first on the team sheet and, and maybe Kimmich, uh, Joshua Kimmich, I think Goretzka is now in Hansi Flick's first 11. He's that good. Look, you have to remember, they bought him from, he was born in Bochum, they bought him from Schalke, and when he arrived, he was, he was like this scrawny kid. Like, why are Bayern, Bayern buying him? 6'2", six, 6'3", six, he's like that. Honestly, now he's like this. He's like Bryson DeChambeau. He's gone away for pre-season and come back. This proper physique of a man, box to box, and gets in goal-scoring positions. Because Hansi Flick is like, don't just play here. Get into the box. And during the Champions League, he was absolutely unbelievable. And you only have to watch the, you know, the players that they've got, the likes of Taliso and Alcantara, Coutinho, um, Martinez. Um, I'm missing something. Kimmich in the middle of the park. Goretzka has been absolutely phenomenal. And there's a lot of people in Germany that will be eating their words because they didn't think he would make it. But boy, did he beef up and really become a different football player. He certainly did. It's one heck of a physical change. Now, last but not least, Al, who is our final one to watch? Well, I want him to come back. Gareth Bale. He's... I'm fed up people giving it 
oh, he's on £10 million pound a week and he's getting too much money, he's not even playing. Well, he, he was apparently going to be moving for the, the guts of £90 million last year back to an English club. <clears throat> there was also China mentioned as well, um, uh, Jing Su Sun, Suning, I think it was, he was going to for an incredible amount of money. But apparently Real Madrid put the kibosh on it and he's still there. But the problem is he can't get a game anymore. You know, they won't play him. Well, this is the thing. So, you know, and he's made it clear, you know, he, want, he wants to come back, doesn't he? But at 31 years of age, it's kind of like, it's a bit, it's now or never for him, isn't it? Yeah, so, well, I suppose it is. I mean, he's been there for a long time. I mean, what's he won? Four, three Champions Leagues? Four Champions Leagues? Uh, titles? Yeah, there's, there's one thing, there's one thing that don't cloud yourself with things. Gareth Bale is a top international football player a top world player. And if someone can convince Real Madrid to let him go and get him in your football team, then your chances to win a title are threefold. I think he's that good still, genuinely. I mean, you'll probably love him a bit. I mean, what about his hair? You haven't oh, heard? it is. I'll tell you what, I've got severe hair envy, Al. Haven't you? <laughs> that is... Well, he does that. He's like a, a, a porcupine, for God's sake. He's got that much of it. I, I mean, I'm okay now. Not too bad, apart from the monk bit at the back. I didn't even have hair like that when I was 17 at United, for God's sake. So listen, the bottom line is, he is a talking point for everybody in Europe. He's at one of the... Bit, and the other thing, of course, you have to remember, uh, and I had this a little bit when I was in Germany, he's at one of the biggest clubs in Europe right now. If he can just get back into that team under the transformation that they're obviously going through as well, yeah. then does he really need to move when he's already making that kind of money? And like you said, it would be, love to see, it would be lovely to see him back in England because then we get the benefit of that. Mm. But the, the package for him would have to still be a good one. It certainly would. And, and like you say, he just needs to get the game time. He's played 16 games, two goals and two assists. So any professional Unreal. football player isn't going to be happy with that. No, it's not enough. And... and he, I think you said he's 30, did you say he's 31? Yeah, 31 years yeah. ago. So if you're conscientious as a football player, you don't really want to be sitting in the back of the stand when you're 31, 32, 33. All of a sudden, at 25, 26, you might be like, oh, I've got tons of time, I'm doing whatever I want to do. He's had such a career that he still wants to add to that. You only have to look to the likes of Ronaldo and Messi, etc, etc, etc. Everybody wants to play, everybody wants to win and Gareth is no different than anybody else. And I would imagine the last couple of Welsh games, he's been beside himself because he's back again and he's playing and uh, he's helping his team try to do the best thing. And I know we'd certainly like to see him back in the Premier League, wouldn't we? Feel free to have your say. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see Gareth Bale back over here in the Premier League. Thank you so much for joining us, as always, on Ones to Watch. It's very good to be back with Sir Alan McAnally. Um, we'll be back in the studio as well, won't we, next week? So we'll be doing no, the elbow touch and keeping our social distance. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next week.